What's up everyone, it's Uncle Stambana here, and I want to let you in on an interesting find. So a lot of you know that a majority of Billy's add-ons are not so good. However, there is a way to make each of them underrated, and that trick is to use it with one of Billy's best add-ons, the Doom Engraving. To those who don't know, this add-on makes you move 20% faster and increases the charge time by 12%. When you use this add-on with everything else, it makes a lot of room to improve your ability curves while also having a chance to let the other add-on still do work in the game. I'm going to show off three low tier add-ons with the Doom Engraving to demonstrate how underrated these can be if you give yourself a little more speed. Yeah, the, the, the vid right there basically shows you that that's literally, that's literally how I am whenever, when, whenever I'm actually sweating in the game. That he was going to actually run that like that. Um, I'm gonna just do this now. I should have probably forced a stun on myself though. If I don't get that many stuns, then this build doesn't really do shit. He's right there. I need to get. I need. Still, I need to get stunned for the build. Don't fucking care. Just stun me. All right, that's all good. This feels like I'm playing base kit Billy charge time. I can't manage the. Um... Oop, that's free. I can manage the feathering. I think your favorite killer is the Oni. Oni is a really, really fun killer. You wanna know what's so cool about Oni? One, you actually can M1 with him. Like it's it's probably required, but it's actually a disadvantage too. Number two, um, Oni doesn't get affected by collisions that much. So if you're going against uh, objects that have like a lot of collision on them, running on the right side here. If you if you if you see objects with like like if you see objects with a lot of collision on them and you're and you're using your dash, it's not gonna actually affect you miserably. Damn, it would have been nice if I actually got stunned again. You'll die. You'll die loyal to your boy Demo. Demo's a fun killer to play as. Sometimes I feel like whenever I play Billy and then I switch to Demo, my instincts with Billy get stuck on Demo. Like I, I'd rather just play M2 only and not even just M1 at all. Unless like I, it gets to a point where someone's like W King, then I'll M1. But no, nah, like that's that's what that's what it just leads to though. But Demo was a fun killer though. When, when I used to play Billy Huntress and Nurse, at one point I played a little bit of Demo, just like a little bit of Demo. And like I noticed more and more and more, I just kept like um, playing Demo the same way I played Billy, like literally no M1ing. This was before Demo got his add-ons like changed up slightly. They're screwed here. Are you a hop locker? Didn't even hop walker. Oh my god, well played. There we go. The streak out is here. Watch later in your sub. Yeah, I, I leave them. I leave the win streak video for anybody that, that wants to watch like a long vid. But it, it has the highlights of all my games I had for the win streak that I did um uh, a couple months ago. I, I, now I don't do win streaks anymore because like the thing is like if you do a win streak, it can be really mentally exhausting. And the last like that video was already enough to define how fucking scary it was doing that win streak. Like it was it was a challenge. This is like an OG Billy build. Like people from 2018 or 2019 would literally run this Billy build. I need to break this. I can't be wasting time. Only kills that you go into only are Bubba and uh, Huntress. Yeah, I, I usually... Well, when I used to play Billy, Huntress, and Nurse a lot. Well, besides Nurse, I used to play M2 only on Billy and Huntress. To play Huntress, I practiced Huntress simply by 8 hatchets. I never use Ocaft. I always ran eight hatchets every single game, and I only and I never M1 once. That was the game plan. But I would only M1 if I couldn't catch up to the survivor. Like if the survivor knew what my um what my trick was with uh, playing Huntress. It, although it was it, it was a lot of fun though. They're just W King literally right here. That's gotta suck. I gotta make sure I just catch up to them here because that's like one of the biggest problems when you're going against like uh, people that W key. If you're going against like any W gamer, you literally have to catch up to the distance or else. Oh, we get add-on value though. Yeah, like I, I like to what's the word play M2 only on like killers that have an M2 power that actually damages people. Except for plague, you kind of have to M1 people here and there. Let me aim for the gen right now. With the charge time, I should be able to get this. Oh, never mind. There's no angle. Two people here though. A stun would be really, really nice because... Oh, shit. Ah, he got me good. He actually got me really good with that. Got about the life. And then he's pretty much just kind of like WP right here. 
Well, he didn't W key fully, but I want to lock him into the locker. Damn, you really wish that would work. To be fair, if he kind of just like W keyed a little bit more to the pallet, he would have shit on me. Because like, it's, it, like they're just doing too much distance. So it's kind of hard for me to catch up. But I mean, he he stopped it and it worked. So entertaining. You spent about an hour watching my shorts. Yo, th thank you, Mister Eight Hundred Five. I've been trying to do more YouTube shorts recently because apparently some of my OG shorts, they've been popping off on YouTube. And uh, that's kind of also why I haven't been posting like any long, well played. That's why I haven't been posting that many long YouTube vids recently. Um, Because whenever I post a long YouTube video, I want it to be a vid of like me doing really, really good with Billy. Like I want it to be like an actual, like, me doing like an interesting build, like something really, really cool and entertaining in a way. Need add on value? This sounds good, uh, FedEx. I know somebody else here as well, but I'm gonna just uh, try this now. Oh, they're in shack. Are we stuck in shack? I guess we're probably... I guess we're probably stuck in shack, but it's too late because I can literally just get them out here. Um, let me just go here. It would be nice to get the Dwight with uh, the quicker charge time with Mother's Helpers. I don't think I'm gonna have time, though. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Mother's Helpers only works if you get stunned by a pallet. If they head-on stun you, it doesn't work. Bro, they should make a Mother's Helpers work for every single stun. That would make it so much better. I mean, it's a nice add-on, but it's not like it's not like the greatest add-on. Having it with an engraving is better. People say using Mother's Helpers with the Tomb Carburetor is like, is like the best because it's Instasaw. I don't like Instasaw. Instasaw is just kind of boring, though. Probably should not have tried to curb that at all, to be fair. That was kind of my fault. Finally. Yo, I, I really appreciate that a lot though, Mr. 805. I, I'm glad you enjoy them. Because sometimes I always look at my own videos personally, and I just get worried. I get worried that like some of the vids that you even make, like I, it's like I'm not really doing too much work for them though. But when it's like YouTube shorts, I always like the YouTube shorts, they're also on my Twitter as well. I, I'm glad a lot of people really enjoy my content though, because at least they can pretty much go to this side here. Um, because at least like, you know, I can do more for my channel. Oh, more for my channel. Do they know? They don't know. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know. <laughs> they already patched the hay bill, unfortunately. They brought it back to allowing billies to pick up people's legs off again. I can talk about a small topic for so long. Because I've been streaming for a while, um, Karabeth. I've, I've been literally streaming for almost like... I think... About 9 plus years. So like I'm, I'm used to streaming. That's how that's how I can actually catch up with like talking about a long topic for a while. Uh, except there's one thing you notice. I tend to stutter a lot when I when I speak too fast. I'm, I'll just go like uh uh, uh and I literally forget what I'm just saying. No, but that's how I manage it though, um, Garabeth. I used to suck at it though too, but I'm glad I um, I'm glad I improved on it a lot more now. I had Mazel Tov. Oh my Mazel -tov. god. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Muzzle top. I just, go for a I just downed myself. Yo, Rupture, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had an amazing stream. It's good to see you tonight, man. Um, everyone coming in from Rupture's channel, if you guys know who I am, hello, I'm Uncle Stambana. I play a lot of DVD. I am indeed a Billy main, but the most important thing that you gotta know is that I'm just pretty much a person likes bananas. And uh, that is all. Other than that, though, um... Yo, how was the stream though, Rupture? It's, uh, again, it's, it's it's an absolute pleasure seeing you tonight. Paul has been good for you this Friday night. Played Diablo 4 in some Rocket League. Oh my god. The Diablo 4 released, what was it, um, last night? Because one of my buddies tried to see if he can get it, and he, and he actually got it an hour later. Funny enough. Trying to get uh, your Grand Champ rewards before, before the season ends. That, that, that does remind me though. Now that you mentioned like Rocket League, that does remind me because I've, I've been kind of like wanting to like um, play some other games on the side. And, and I promised yesterday I, I literally would just do some variety stuff like uh, on my free time. Besides Beat Saber, I, I, I mean, I, I probably want to play Beat Saber, but like I want to play Beat Saber tomorrow night, like just for my free time. I could do it tonight, but it's uh, I'm like way too chill to play Beat Saber. My mods and everything are kind of fine. I do want to try to restream it again on my own. Well, I hope maybe. Like, I, 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 could, I could try to just bring it back. Just hoping that nothing fucks up for me again. I got something uh, going on uh, tonight. 
And plus, if I played uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre today, like right now, it would be fun, though. It would be a really, really good time. But... I just don't know what was going on. Like, there was, like, a little part of me that just... Like, I actually wanted to play it last night. Like, I wanted to play it last night, but I was too caught up playing with my VR. I just fucked up the build. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um... Look, man, I'll tell you what. I'm going to redo your build again. Sorry, sorry about this, because I'm literally playing, uh... I'm literally playing Crackbelly with this. This is actually not good. I'm going to redo your build, but I'll switch it up and run, um... Doom Low Pro after. I'll hook you up in just, uh... A bit. I'm surprised he didn't even dodge it just one bit. He just wasn't going to penalize you for trying to, like, uh, play in the fun way. Yeah, the only, the only hope is, like, hoping that you get the survivors that are actually fun. But they're rare. I don't really see too much of them. Like, I don't go against people I know much of. Oh, they get this. I don't think Aji carries, does it? Nope, it does not. They were actually pretty smart. I wish I found a different hook. Oh, wait, no, I know. Now I know why. Now I know why. You want to know why I fucked up there? Because I didn't play basement. And I know what you all about to say. It's like, well, Stan, I mean, you're supposed to play basement. Basement's the strongest killer structure. You're actually a duck should kill me for not playing basement. And then I'm just going to literally go, yeah, no shit. But like, I don't really like, I don't even want to play basement. So I don't really care if I fuck that up, though. <laughs> Boy, this basement's boring. I like to piss people off all the time when I don't play basement, despite having Agi. Yeah, I got, I, like, I mean, I could play a press and just play basement just like that. But early basement game is a boring game for me. I'm actually surprised. Well, I mean, I should, never mind. I shouldn't even be surprised because they were blocking the hook anyways. So it's kind of my fault. But first, that almost looked like um, that almost looked like uh, fixated. She was moving a little fast while walking. I wish it was like a killer offering to remove basement. A killer offering to remove basement would be kind of nice. I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know, cause like, I think the thing about basement, I, I just, I personally think. What is it? I feel like basement should only be a thing to use at the end game. Because like when you use it at the starting game, you could you could pretty much cheese shit. But the people that would love using basement all the time are like uh, folks that um Ooh, good choice. I was actually gonna wait for them to like hop the window. Spare anatomy would have been handy as hell. That's life. And crack Billy carried. Yeah, yeah, I got. I'll hook you up with the two games. But yeah, that, that's my. Well, your game's gonna come very soon. Damn. A lot of DCs. And yes, I know that's like two DCs, but still, a lot of DCs though. Her internet doesn't look too good. She might DC randomly. I'm worried. You know, you hook base, you don't stay in camp, so you, uh, so you don't get any value. I mean, I, I could do that. The, th the thing is, I could literally do that with basement. Like, then don't don't stay next to the hook. Don't camp or like anything. But here's the problem. There's a lot of scenarios where everybody literally starts playing stealthy, and the only people I find when I go to basement are the like I literally just go to basement because I know there are like two people that are guaranteed. I mean, I could do that with with like hooks as well. But for basement, like my attention span is so low, I just instantly just go for the person in basement. Don't even give two fucks about it. It doesn't, and like the worst part about basement is like I could literally win games so easily just by putting one person in basement. Like if anybody saw one of those games when I had when I had like a basement challenge, I just start hooking people in basement. I was like, bro, this shit's so boring. Like I'm kind of winning this game pretty well on on what's the word, mother's dwelling. And I'm just like literally hooking, like I'm literally hooking people in basement. Like trade off hooked. Like the the, the gameplay was trade off basement, trade off basement, trade off basement. Like it's that's what that's the, that's the thing like whether like even if i'm trying to play pretty nice like I'm, i just want to find people i don't find people we go to basement shit gets rough and well the game just become boring for me but trust me that's why a lot of killer mains probably would not like me because i actually hate basement i mean i hate basement in the beginning of the game i think basement though like it's definitely it's good to have basement in an end game because having having basement in end game is definitely like a, a best friend type idea but early game basement I just like that's just the thing I don't like. It's just it's just so cheesy. The anti camping meter should counter basement a good bit. Uh, it, it depends what the distance of it is. It's a scuffed feature. It's, it's kind of nice. I, I like that they're I like their, that they're handling uh, face camping in a way. But I know it's gonna be a band aid, a bandage fix idea. It's gonna be something that I promise you, behavior is going to fuck up in some way. 
Uh, superior anatomy would have carried. And she's looking back, so she, if I vault backwards, it's not going to do anything. W? Does not hold W. I can't fully curve this, so I have to be right here. There's one car, by the way, that has no collision on it, and one that does. This one does. The thing I kind of hate about playing on, um... Bump Tower, man. Actually, the worst part is, like, I hate the fact that they even considered putting collision on this car. Getting down there basically need like 20 seconds to like hook early game. No, it's, it's, it's just so cheesy. Like you just know games are going to be pretty easy with that. Like there's just no chases. All you do is like, whether, especially if I'm not finding people, like you just keep going back to hook over and over and over. Like if, if you, if you can't, let's say, what's the word? Two people, basement, one, one's in basement, the other one goes to the unhook. The other two people are probably hiding between gens like 50 billion meters away. So like your only best choice is to go literally back to basement. And it's like, you're kind of, you're kind of forced to go to basement, unfortunately. <laughs> That's why, like, on my side, I, I just prefer not playing basement. Yo, what is up, Alphigeon? How are you doing? I mean, it's, it's, it, I don't think the, the, the anti-camping fix is going to help a lot. I still think canceling a killer's power if the meter went pretty full at a very close distance would have been a good idea, but... I mean, whatever we're getting, I hope it actually works. I mean, I'm hopeful. Like, I like that behavior is trying to counter base camping in a way. I just know that a lot of people are going to counter it. Definitely. <laughs> I know it's definitely going to get countered because it's, it's more of a bandage fix type idea. Let me go find the hatch. Oh. He's literally going right into the hook. Okay, I got you, man. I got you, boss. Yeah, I'm going to run it back there for you, though, Milkman. So you get two, two requests. To be fair, that was, like, kind of my fault. It is completely fine. Although, I kind of think I recognize one of these survivors, so this could probably go wrong in such little time. I need to go to the other side right now, because I'm pretty sure one of them is going to probably spawn around here. I thought it was like some sort of like bug that was happening. Can I pre-rev on them? I think I can pre-rev on them. So, my terror radius and chainsaw is completely sound, so if I do this right now... <laughs> this is the part where Silent Blade does a shit. I gotta like, um, get this down quickly. I mean, that's the point for Silent Blade, anyways. Now uh, my ability is not even silent no more. The sound of the saw is quite loud. I don't think I'm going to be able to get enough time to catch up to them, because I think they're going to, like, probably do a lot. Let's, um... I'll pick them up right now, leave the gen with this much progress, and then if I kick the gen, I get Trail of Torment, so that means my chainsaw will become silent. It's going to be fully silent without, like, anything relying on it, unless they stop the gen progress for it. So I can, like, literally do this the entire time and not be seen, but I have to, like, do it without getting caught. All right. I think they already see me. It doesn't really matter. Forgot that I can't start this chainsaw at the right time. I think I can curve him here. I think I, I can make it happen. This is why having an engraving with the Apex Muffler is really good. At least just having one single engraving helps so that I can actually curve people like while I'm still playing. That cooldown on uh, Trail of Torment is actually too long. If it ended quickly, I could probably get Trail of Torment again that make my chainsaw silent. Yo, what's up, JJ? How are you doing? Yeah, the, the worst part about this is I can't kick the gen. I need to make sure I kick the gen right after my uh, cooldown just shuts down. Only uh, one person, I think, is being affected by play thing. This is the second person on the hook, but the, the second person being on the hook, that doesn't really do much. Uh, stream been good. Day's been good as well. Thank you for asking, though, uh, JJ. It's it's been pretty nice, actually. I want to see if I can sneak my way through here because I heard uh, something open. There it is. Oh, never mind. There's a pallet there. Unlucky. But I'm still silent. My chainsaw, like my chainsaw, still sound. But I have to like be very careful on this play, dude. This cloud is actually low key kind of smart though. Yeah, but I've been doing pretty good, though, JJ. Uh, again, th th thanks for asking. Yeah, honestly, saying to put Agi was was a really good choice. Because if I never had Agi, I think cooking people would be a very, very big problem. I'll just do this for progress, because I'm, like, really, really certain with all those uh, Tinker procs. Um, I'm going to have trouble trying to get pressure in the game. J just in general, like, getting pressure is going to be a, a really, really big challenge for me. Now, the good news is I have RPD, but the bad news, it's like, if these survivors are smart and know what they're doing, then I'm going to be in trouble. Like, this game could probably go wrong for me quite easily. 
Somebody took that out. Oh, I'm so confused. Like, I don't even know where else to go. Yeah, whoever's here, they, they pretty much... Oh, shit, they were standing here the entire time. They literally noticed me and just hid. Damn. Wish I saw that happening pretty soon. Are they gonna pre-drop this pallet? The one right here? No, they're not. And the Claudette's on second hook. That's kind of value. That's kind of value. Not a lot, but a little bit. I don't have enough time to curve them. I'll have to probably just hold W here normally and then force this. Nice. I can't keep relying too much on like playing for curves if I'm trying to be silent Billy, because like I gotta like play a little bit more hit and run to make this build a little bit uh, just to work a little bit more. I know the Claudic can't yeah, the Claudic can't hear my chainsaw, but the other person can actually hear it as well though. I just hope I can sneak up on them, but I'm pretty sure they might be observant as uh yeah, they might be way too observant to figure out that I'm actually just like chasing them at the moment. Yeah, they have a terror radius, but this person doesn't. They're gonna probably just be long gone. I, I don't even trust myself because like these guys, these guys probably W key way too much to the point where it's like I don't really know if I can actually get value with this game. Like if anything, I have to go for an M1. I, at least like in this chase, like I gotta play for an M1 to save myself a little bit. Of course they camp it. Why don't I just break this now? They are going to make it to the other pallet, by the way, with the way that I just pulled that off. So that might have been a bad idea for me to just play it off like that. Unless... Oh no, that's unlucky. I should have probably... I, I don't know if I should have probably swung early. I don't think I had enough, uh, enough of a reach to get that, actually. I didn't even turn back from that spot. Damn, I'm a little disappointed. Can I get them here? I actually can't even get them here. Dude, they're really, really smart. They, they, they actually know how to play this though, for real. I almost forgot about the collision. By the way, th this is kind of one of the biggest reasons why I don't like playing an RPD in general, because like the collision here is like very, very bad. I know a lot of people say playing an RPD can be fun for Billy, but like th the only biggest thing that concerns the hell out of me is just like, there's just way too much collision even playing this map in the first place. It's really, really hard to play here, man. Maybe I sound like I'm just being kind of petty, but it is very, very, very hard. Also, uh, Barani, thank you for following. Yeah, they're already going to get this gen done, like, very, very soon, but... With the way they're kind of W-keying, this this looks like it's going to be a, a very hard game for me to even catch up with. Oh, the Claudette's actually... Oh, that's because she was stuck on second hook. Oh my god, why the fuck are you doing this? I missed this too because I actually messed that up. Oh my god, this is actually so painful, man. This is actually really, really painful. I wish I went for an M1, honestly. Because like by just going for a saw, I'm only making this worse for myself. Where in the world are they going? Yeah, they're just going right here. And that pal hasn't even been dropped yet. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually just drop it right now. Yeah, I wouldn't even be surprised at all. And then they're going to have enough time to make it to the palace. I, I don't even trust myself with this play at all. Ooh, honestly, shit on. I don't want to try to play basement, but I'll be honest. I don't really think it's possible. Oh, I can actually play for the hook here, though. No one's actually blocking this. Yeah, no, I, I can't try to play for basement at least. There we go. I'm surprised they're on death hook instantly. We got them. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to go for the Claudette. Unless the Claudette's like close by. Actually, fuck it. I'm gonna just play this out. If I just if I just keep them slugged and then slug for the 4k, I promise you this game is gonna be so bad. It's gonna be really, really, really bad for sure. It didn't really look possible though, because like this I'm telling you though, this team is like this team is like very, very smart for real. Can I shortcut them? Yes, I can. I have sprint burst. I think I don't think I've ever hooked them at all. They get a trade-off here. Are you gonna stay here? Whoa, 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 wait. Maybe I can do a little nice play here. Please don't stun me. Please don't stun me. Wait, there's collision on that? I'm actually surprised. 
There's normally not collision there, but like I'm actually really surprised about that. That's actually kind of new. It's almost like they put collision there again. Well, I fumbled that pretty hard. Yeah, now I'm just like throwing way too much here. He dropped the pallet. Easy. At least it can save me more time if I just do that. I mean, I'm just gonna honestly go for the kill. Cause I haven't even hooked him at all though. All right, SGGs. Where'd the hatch spawn? Oh, it was right there. Yeah, thank goodness I actually went for the M1 early. Cause if I if I tried to go for a saw, I feel like I know what was gonna happen. I break this, they wouldn't go all the way here. They're gonna turn back by the hatch and then just get the hatch. But I'm one of them. I just kind of like you know, made it so much easier for myself though. Oh, shit, they had quite the builds. That probably explains why there were like a lot of Tinker procs when they were using um the BNPs with uh, the tool boxes. I got a little lucky at the end because I just went for like M1s, but now like I'm be honest with you, this team would have definitely shit on me. This was this was a pretty challenging game. I'm I'm kind of surprised I actually managed it out.